If you've got a cranky low back, this is one of my go-to release techniques to help loosen that area up. Now, we're gonna take a lacrosse ball here. I don't want this thing right over top of your spine because you do that, it's really not gonna feel great. And so, all of this kind of tissue through here, kind of QL, these erector muscles that all live off to the side of the spine, all of that stuff is fair game. And so for you to find that area that uh, is problematic or typically it's tight or painful on you, this is a great way to really get in there and loosen that tissue up. And so I like to mobilize tissues in the position it bothers me in. So if I've got a deadlift or a back squat or something that's tight and loosened up, I want to simulate that position as best as possible as opposed to just being standing around and you know busting myself up with a lacrosse ball. So what we'll do is we'll find ourselves in this kind of squatting position on the wall. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my hips up. I'm going to take my lacrosse ball. I'm going to slide it in to that position that's, that's uncomfortable. And then what I'm not doing is just bottoming out and laying over top of it, right? I want to be active, keeping my spine in a nice neutral position. And then what you can do is, is you can relax. You can hang out and breathe if that's a problematic area. Or you can kind of floss side to side here or even up and down a little bit. And it's a great way to help loosen up that low back, that posterior chain, after a lot of deadlifts, or if your low back is full sore after moving around.